In this video, I want to explore an unconventional proof of the sum of n squares formula using combinations, well, just for fun. So how can we do this? Well, we might consider trying to express squares in terms of combinations. So if we consider k choose 2, we can write that out using the combinations formula. And now simplify things a bit and expand and we see the term k squared. To express a natural number squared as a combination, we can make k squared the subject. Now repeatedly applying this identity for values of k from 1 to n. And we can also uh, separate terms out here, so terms with a combination and terms without. And we can simplify the sum of natural numbers to be n times n plus 1 over 2 and also factor out the 2 in the sum of combinations. And now our problem of finding the sum of n squares becomes finding the sum of these combinations. First, notice here that 1 choose 2 is just 0 because there are 0 ways to choose 2 objects from 1. So we can cancel that term out. And let's write the sum out a bit more to see what is going on. Visually, let's look at these terms from the perspective of Pascal's triangle. And it turns out that these combinations form a diagonal. So let's only consider the case when n is equal to 6 to see what is going on here. And let's just try adding these terms together. And we see that it is equal to 35. But notice an interesting pattern here. 35 is the number below and to the right of 15. This is the hockey stick identity, called the hockey stick because it looks like one and not only works for n equals 6 but for other values and also on the starting points. So here are some other examples. Though in this case, we will only be considering and proving the identity for the starting combination of 2 choose 2. So, why does this work and can we prove this result? Well, to understand this in the case of well, n equals 6, first shift the top one down to another one and notice how the term directly below 3 and 1 is their sum because of well, how Pascal's triangle is constructed. And the term below 4 and 6 is the sum of 4 and 6. And because 4 comes from 3 plus 1, and 6 is the next term in our sum. Their sum 10 represents the sum of 1, 3, and 6. The next term 10 would be added to a current sum here, giving 10 plus 6 plus 3 plus 1. And we can add 15 to our current sum to give 35. And here we see that uh, adding the diagonal gives that value. By doing the same process but for n terms, we can prove it generally to term n choose 2 although I won't be very rigorous here. So first, like how we shifted the top term down, we can do that in terms of combinations. So 2 shoes 2 would become 3 shoes 3. And now like how we added the terms to get the term below, we can apply Pascal's identity here to get 4 shoes 3. And now applying Pascal's identity again. And again. And by continuing to do this until, well, the last two terms, we see that we get n choose 3 plus n choose 2. Now adding that combination using Pascal's identity gives n plus 1 choose 3. To be more rigorous, we could also prove it using induction. So for the base case n equals 2, it can also be expressed as 3 choose 3. So the identity holds for n equals 2. Assume that it is true for n equals k and let's prove it for n equals k plus 1. Here we can substitute k plus 1 choose 3 into the sum and apply Pascal's identity again to get k plus 2 choose 3. So the identity is true. Returning to our original problem of finding the sum of n squares, we can substitute n plus 1 choose 3 instead of that long summation. And 
there it is, a proof for the sum of n squares using combinations.